Welcome back. It is now 648. Even though most people live inside the city limits in apartments or houses, it doesn't necessarily mean you won't run into a critter or two. Our David Sears is headed off to Camp Humane to learn about a few of our friends that may not be so friendly. He joins us now live from the Humane Society. Good morning, David. How y'all doing this morning? Mo and I are doing pretty good. Mo's hanging out with me this morning. You know, it's usually about dogs and cats here at Humane Society, but this is a pretty special summer. They've got three camps going on. They're teaching kids about different kinds of animals, especially about how you take care of them and how you respect all kinds of animals. And it was a chance for kids 11 to 13 to get up close to some animals they love. She's beautiful. And maybe some that don't really love back. This is Logan, I feel like, creepy looking. It's called Camp Humane. These kids are at the Humane Society to learn about caring for their own pets and learning about some animals that may not make everyday pets. Raccoons do not make good pets. To come out here and actually show these things to the kids, uh, it's, it's just amazing. I mean, it's really can't describe it. The critic controller had snakes, raccoons, and skunks. Good thing that one was fake. Well, I learned about skunks, so um, you do not come out near them at all. The skunk is not the only thing they had that you don't want to get near. There was an Arizona diamondback rattler. But not all the snakes were poisonous. They had a ball python and a seven-foot-long South American python named Molly. I think she's very sweet and, you know, she's not really mean or anything. And speaking of not mean, the kids also got to meet ladybugs. They learned a little about caring for horses, and then it was time to mount up One, two, three. and take ladybugs for a ride. What do you think? It was kind of bumpy. Kind mm -hmm. of bumpy? Yes, and I felt tall for once in my life. By the way, that big seven-foot foot python that they were showing us, they found that snake sitting on the engine block of a Dodge underneath the hood. They found that up in New Braunfels, one of those other snakes they found in a lady's sink. So keep your eyes open. These critters are everywhere. And if you need more information about the camp or just about helping out dogs like Mo, all you got to do is go to our website, ksat.com, and click on the hot button. You can get links to the Humane Society website. All right, Mo, here's your treat. Good job. I don't think I get one, but you get one. There you go. Good dog. You did a great job. Look at it. Good dog. Um, cool. And that guy in the video, he was holding a fake skunk, right, Dave? Yeah, that was a fake skunk. Okay, yeah, they weren't going to bring a real one out. Yeah, we all been in trouble. Leslie was curious. Yeah, yeah and then we Mike... Wouldn't, they wouldn't let me back in the station. Mike's over here saying it's a good pet. <laughs> okay. Thank you, David Sears. It is uh, 6.51 right now. Madonna canceled.